Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I wanted to do like a blue and silver winter wonderland Hanukkah look and I have a Christmas look coming I think it's exactly a week from today. So I kind of wanted to put both up because I see a bunch of like frosty looks and a bunch of like green looks but I really wanted to do like a dedicated winter wonderland blue and silver look. I mean I know it's a little overboard but honestly I would wear this to Hanukkah dinner. So without further ado let's get right into it. Okay, so because I feel like I do the same face routine all the time, I'm really just doing eyes and highlight today, and that's really, and lip, because that's really the look. So I did my normal skin routine, and I did go a little heavy on the bronzer, but that's just because everything's gonna be so cool toned, I did want a little bit of warmth to the face. So, I already primed my lids off camera with Tarte Shape Tape, and today I'm gonna be using two palettes for this look. I'm gonna be using the NYX Bright Ultimate Shadow, and I'm gonna be using the Magic by Juvia's Place palettes. Now, I primed the lid and I already used the shade Kessie, this like off bone white shade, just to set the lids before I go in with an initial transition shade. So now the first thing I'm gonna do just to kind of layer some colors in there as I start going in with these cooler tones is I'm gonna be going in with this Tiffany blue shade right here on a very fluffy brush. And I'm gonna be taking that on the entire crease and instead of it taking it just here, I'm actually gonna be flicking it a little bit out just to elongate the shape of the eye. And I am gonna be building this color up slowly, so you may be here a while. Okay, so now that we have that transition shade down and the crease a little defined, going in on a slightly smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to be taking this like true cobalt blue shade and just dusting that in the true crease. Again, rather than going in super hard, I'm gonna be gradually building up that shade. Now that we have that built up a little bit more, I'm gonna be going into, wow, Yahidi, this really pretty, it, it's, it's navy blue. So I'm gonna take that on a flat um, packer brush. I'm just gonna stamp that very, very gently on the outer V of the eye. And then I'm just going to blend that a little into the crease on both sides. Now that we have that definition and that smokiness, I'm gonna be taking the shade Yamoha, Yamoja, Yamoha. It's this really, I mean, it's looking white on the camera, but it's actually a really frosty blue. So I'm just gonna take that on the inner portion of the eye. And then once that's on, I'm just gonna take that navy again and just re-intensify the outside and kind of blend where those two colors meet together. Then with the shade Vi, which is right next to it, it's kind of like a soft purple gray. I'm just gonna take a little bit where those two colors meet just to serve as a transition color for the lid. And then just gonna blend those out uh, where each of those colors meet just to make it seamless. Now I'm just gonna repeat some of those colors on the lower lash line. So on a large pencil brush, just going in with that medium blue, I'm gonna take that on the whole lower lash line. Then on a flat definer brush with that navy blue shade, I'm gonna take that very, very close to the lash line itself. And on a very small pencil brush, I'm just gonna blend those together with a little bit of that lid shade. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna start with that light, light blue just on the inner portion of the eye 
and then once I get that gradient that I have on top, I'm then gonna take that color and just blend that into the rest of the eye so that you get that same metallic quality from the top, but that gradient mirrors the top as well on the bottom. Now I'm just gonna do lashes and liner off camera. Now I have had these lashes, they are the MAC Star Trek collection for a very long time. I don't know if you can see, but they are very, very wispy, but every like fourth hair is cobalt blue. So I think that's really just gonna elongate the eyes very nicely while also adding a little bit of that blue into the lash itself. So I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so that was a hassle and a half. Turns out that those lashes just, I mean, so I bought these thinking that they were gonna work and honestly, they're very nicely flared, but with the way my eye is shaped, like they were just kind of pointed wonky and I would have to cut these into like four different pieces and place them on to get them to look anything but like really chunky. So I ended up switching to my Giselle number ones from Huda Beauty. And I mean, I love these lashes. They're wispy and they're full and they're just beautiful. So to finish up the eye on a small brush, I'm gonna take a little bit more of Yamoha, which was that inner lid shade. And I'm just going to use that to highlight the inner corners. Going in with my Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter in Diamond Dust, I'm just gonna add a little bit of silver glitter to the inner corner as well. Now, because I do want a little bit more pizzazz on the lid, I'm gonna be going into my Jolie Beauty Bomb.com palette, which is a beautiful glitter palette I reviewed like a month ago. And I'm just gonna be taking this super frosty glitter right here, and I'm just going to press a little bit of that just onto the center of that light white on the lid, just to add a little bit more depth and shine on top to contrast such a dark outer V. So just to pull in a little more of this coolness, I'm gonna be taking the ColourPop um, Cream Gel Liner in the shade Kicker. This is a silver, and I'm just gonna run that on the waterline. Okay, I ended up waiting to highlight the face because I did wanna see how bold we went on the eyes before I went in with a highlighter. So I'm gonna be going in to start with Glow for the Gold from Collab Beauty, which is a very pretty and fairly light highlight shade. And I'm just gonna take that on the high points of the face. Now because this is looking really blinding, but it's not quite as frosty as I want, I'm gonna be taking Crystal Ball from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics line which is a very pretty white, but this white, like it just has this really pretty reflex to it. I'll show you. So once it's on, I'm just gonna take that just on the high point and that's just gonna help transform this and take it from blinding to like literally icy. I did want something a little more neutral on the lip because the eyes are so much. So I'm gonna be taking Monday from ColourPop, which is a very pretty nude. And then just to add a little bit of shimmer, I'm gonna be taking Rainbow from the ColourPop Hello Kitty collection, which is a frosty white eyeshadow, but it has these really pretty like rainbow flecks in it. And I'm just gonna pat that on the center of the lower lip and a little bit on the upper lip. And that's just gonna give this really wet pouty effect without it being a glossy lip because I was feeling a little more matte today because there's so much shimmer on the lid. So to set, I'm gonna be taking the Illuminating Setting Spray from Cover FX. And normally I would not use that setting spray, but because this is a very frosty look, I really want it to be nice and dewy and very soft because the eye is so intense. I didn't want to be like flat white and almost look fake. So those shimmer particles are just gonna help everything look a little more flawless, but also a little more luminous. And that's the finished look. So thank you everybody for watching. This has been my winter wonderland blue and silver Hanukkah look. So I hope you enjoyed watching it because I had a blast making it. So 
If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I do upload twice a week, so you don't want to miss out on all the fun stuff I do. And thank you for watching.